Chronic abdominal pain can be a really challenging experience for many of us, particularly when it sticks around for a really long time. Pain is a challenge for not only kids and teenagers, but also for the parents. My goal in this video is to explain why we have pain and what we can do about it. What is the purpose of pain in the first place? If you think about it, pain serves to protect us from harm. For example, if you touch a hot pan on the stove, you get a painful sensation in your hand that lets you know that you need to move your hand away quickly to avoid getting burned. If we didn't have pain signals, we wouldn't know to move our hand away from the hot pan. In this example, we can see that the pain signals are serving a very specific purpose, to keep us out of harm's way. Unfortunately, pain signals can go haywire sometimes. With acute pain, like breaking your arm for example, we experience pain initially, but then heal over time and re return back to normal functioning. With chronic pain, however, this pain goes on for much longer than expected. Our pain alarms have gone haywire. Did you know you have two brains? Yes, you have the one in your skull, but you also have one in your gut. With chronic abdominal pain, we have pain signals going back and forth between our gut and our brain. In many cases, our gut brain may be hypersensitive to various sensations, which causes it to send a pain alarm to the brain in our skull. The gut brain may be yelling, emergency, emergency, to the skull brain, when in reality, there is no danger at all. The longer chronic abdominal pain lasts, the stronger the connection between the gut brain and the skull brain becomes. We know that there is a very strong connection between the gut brain and the skull brain. With chronic abdominal pain, there is often a nerve problem. The nerves in our guts may be overly sensitive to stimulation. In addition, many parts of our lives can impact pain, including sleep, diet, exercise, family relationships, social functioning, and school. When things aren't going well with pain, it is very common to catastrophize pain and think that things will never get better. So what do we do about it? The first step in treating chronic abdominal pain is understanding how it works. Through treatment, using a cognitive behavioral approach, we can start turning down those pain alarms being sent from your gut brain to your skull brain, just like turning down the volume on a radio. You will find information on this website about cognitive behavioral strategies and how it can be used to manage pain. The ultimate goal is to improve overall daily functioning, which will likely lead to a reduction in pain over time. 